All right, I am going to go take a break. I'll be back a little bit. We'll start figuring out the frame. The problem with having the lock on just one side of the table is you have to work on that side of the table all the time. <sighs> kind of wouldn't mind changing that design a little bit. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to weld on this right side mount over here. I don't really see any reason at all to have both of them bolt on. Yeah, I didn't quite achieve spray transfer with that. Uh, I could tell when I was welding, but it, it was doing a really good job. You know, I mean, I could tell it was penetrating and I just had a few little bubbles. I didn't feel like going back and fiddling with it and readjusting. There's no undercut. It's a pretty nice weld. I'm happy with that. So, good enough. But I'll play with the settings a little bit more later. I decided I'd go ahead and stick the indicator on there. And this side goes, this is the side I didn't think I had any run out that I could see. And of course I should be more out here instead of there, but anyway. Drops down to about three there. It went a little past 40 for a little bit there. So. Yeah, about 40 thousandths out. And on the other side that I thought was way over an eighth of an inch, um, it went from zero around to zero exactly. So it's exactly 100 thousandths out. I'm happy with that. You know, considering I just, like I said, used the tape measure on all this and wasn't even trying to get it super accurate. So I think for grading dirt, that'll be fine. Not quite there. Go up on wires a little bit. Guess I shouldn't have gone up on wire. Should have left it. Actually had uh, was really close. Um, very little splatter on that first bit I did. This is the first one. Then I turned up the wire speed a little bit, but man, there must have been some rust there or something I didn't have ground out because very porous. And then look where I stopped. It actually cracked. Man, I can't believe that. Trying a new brand of wire. I don't think I like it. Alright, so I'll drop the wire speed back down just a little here. I'm going to tell you all my settings just so I know. I got my dial almost to 31 volts and I'm at 325 inches per minute according to my dial. And that was beautiful. It sounded good. Should have recorded that one. A um, little bit of the porosity came back up. And of course, big old floater at the end there, all the junk. But that is nice. I'm very happy. That was a very, very good spray transfer weld. Pleased with that. So, yay! I don't think that little flex neck gun likes that too much, though. I think it was getting warm, but I can do it for short little amounts of time. I'll let that thing cool off now. But. Sweet. I cut the shaft that was in the middle of all those discs in the bandsaw. And I should not have done that. Um, it had a temper to it, and I think I dulled my blade pretty good because it is cutting insanely slow on this rectangle tubing. 
I mean, this is three by five um, rectangular tubing with three eighths inch walls. So there's definitely a lot of material removed on this cut, but it is just insanely slow. <sighs> this blade was just motoring through this stuff when I first started. So darn it, I was just calling myself a moron in my head for cutting that other shaft, even though I had a temper. And you know, I I knew better. But uh, I actually had my first moron comment on YouTube the other day. And it was on my birthday, too. That was awesome. And that's all it said is, you're a moron. So I appreciate that. But that must mean my channel's getting big, right? Because, you know, when you start getting the hate comments, that's when you know you're doing something right on YouTube. Well, anyway, I'm going to cut a piece of square tubing into a piece of angle iron now. So why am I going to all the work to cut this rectangular tubing into an angle iron? Well, I don't have any angle iron the exact size that I want. So, since I only need two pieces three foot long, I thought, well, I'll just rip one of these pieces of rectangular tubing and I'll have it. You know. And uh, keep my cost down a little bit because three-eighths thick 3 by 5 angle iron is not cheap. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't cost a whole lot for me to cut it with the plasma cutter.
I got this mower from a friend. Um, I have another one just like it that we used to use here on the farm, except the left turn cone went out on it. So this one has good cones. So I was going to take them out and put it in it. But I figured, well, since I'm going to be destroying it anyway, uh, might as well use the front wheels for this project. So these front two caster wheels are coming off of there. Not quite sure how I'm going to take them off, of all, how much of the frame I'm taking with it and all that yet, but we'll just see as it goes. So I'm just going to start ripping things apart. That's for. That's a halfway new battery. It says four of twelve. Don't pee on it. Good boy. So I may end up just using this entire frame because the outside, from the outside of that tire to the outside of that tire is 45 inches and my frame inside to inside on my roller over there is 49. So that's not bad at all. I'm going to cut it through there, whatever needs to be cut, and then I'll make a decision about what I need to do after that. I'm not sure if I'll use that height adjustment lever, but I figure I'll cut it out of there while I'm destroying it, and who knows, might come in useful later. I'm going to have to go to the floor with this project. That table's just too small to hold all this, and I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to put these wheels in there, so to the floor with it. Good fun and games when I drop this.